I'm here at the city of Vincent in Western Australia having a look at their mini roundabouts. So this is a very classic grid network in a residential area uh, and unfortunately in grid networks we'll see some vehicles will go through quite fast and uh, if they go through an intersection and there's somebody making a mistake uh, we will see a high severity crash. So the presence of a mini roundabout like this disrupts ultimate priority, it makes every vehicle slow down as they approach. The service vehicle, so the garbage truck or the like, can uh, turn through this easily. They could mount over it uh, if they needed. So maybe if a removalist truck was to come into this area, it would still be able to make it to where it needs to go. There's not a need for major deflection in these sorts of environments, but just that disruption of ultimate priority gives some really good advantages. So I think these are really uh, great treatment. They show that it doesn't need to be high cost stuff that we're doing to get some good road safety gains. This is complemented by the City of Vincent's wonderful work that they're currently doing uh, in implementing lower speed limits in their whole city. Uh, so they've gone for a 40 kilometer per hour speed limit in the entire city of Vincent, which is a, a wonderful commitment to the safety uh, of their community and anybody passing through. It's really gonna help pedestrians, cyclists. They're already seeing great returns on that investment in more cycling and uh, less numbers of deaths and serious injury for all road users. Every vehicle approaching these intersections will slow down, they'll have a look around, uh, and we're far less likely to see incidents happen.